In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can use the morph transition in PowerPoint to zoom around a map like an absolute wild ting. So let's dive straight in because this is so simple. So I'm starting out with just simply one slide that has a map of the world and it has some drop pins. Now, if you're wondering how I created this map of the world, you're not going to find these images within PowerPoint. I actually found these in Canva and then I just saved them off and inserted them into my PowerPoint slide. But this technique can be used with other images, not necessarily just a map of the world. This is just my example. Now, maybe I want to create a cool effect in PowerPoint, which allows me to zoom around this map, maybe zoom in, zoom out, zoom to a specific region. So if I'm maybe giving a presentation and I'm talking about the different offices that we have around the world, when I'm talking about the New York office, maybe I want to zoom in on that part of the map. And we can do this using the morph transition. So we have our starting slide. All we need to do is duplicate the slide. So let's click on it, control D to give us another little copy. Now let's click on slide two and I'm going to use my zoom slider just to zoom out a little bit. I find this is a lot easier if you do it like this. So let's say that the first thing we want to do is zoom over to the New York office, which is roughly around here. And we want to zoom in a little bit. All we need to do is grab the image and we're going to drag it out. Now it becomes quite hard to see the slide boundaries once you start moving this image around. So it's always best to look at the little thumbnail over at the side to kind of see where you're at. So I want to zoom right in and we're going to move this over a little bit so that we're kind of zoomed into New York. I'm going to move that all the way over there. We could even make it a bit bigger if we wanted to. Let's drag it over. like so. That's good enough. Now I'm going to duplicate this slide. So let's select it, control D. Where do we want to zoom to next? Well, maybe then I start talking about some of our European offices. So I'm going to drag and I'm going to move the thumbnail over. And again, I'm keeping my eye on that little thumbnail in the slides pane so I know where I'm at. And maybe we want to zoom out a little bit here. And I'm just going to drag this around until I've got this in the position that I want. That's good enough. Let's duplicate one more time. And this time we're going to zoom in on the Australian office. So let's drag and I'm going to zoom in quite a bit here. So let's make this a lot bigger. Again, I might have to zoom out a bit so I can do this. Let's drag. I'm going to drag it over. And this takes a lot of fiddling around but the effect is pretty good in the end. So you can see in the slides pane what that's going to look like. And then maybe at the end, I just wanted to zoom out to show the entire map of the world. So I'm going to grab the first slide, control D to duplicate, and we're just going to place that at the end here. So now we've done that. The final thing to do is just simply select all of the slides, hold down shift to select them all, go up to transitions, and we're going to choose the morph transition. And let's run the slideshow and see what this looks like. So we start out with the map of the world. If I click, we zoom into New York. If I click again, we zoom across to Europe. And if I click again, we zoom down to Australia. The final click is going to zoom us back out to our map of the world. Now, of course, you can go in and adjust the timing so that this is either a bit quicker or a bit slower. But this is the general premise of how you can use the morph transition to really get that cool zoom in and zoom out effect on one image. If you like this little tip, then let me know down in the comments. Give me a little follow and I'll see you in the next video.